It's officially the end of summer and the cold weather has come to Korea, which inspired today's recipe. Now this recipe, like many of my others, is adaptable to your preferences or depending on what ingredients you can get your hands on. But it does really resemble kimchi jjigae, which is one of the most popular stews from South Korea. So we are going to incorporate many of those ingredients in this recipe today, but we're going to use up some other ingredients as well. So here I started off by frying half an onion, a white onion, with two minced cloves of garlic before adding some water. This is going to create a kind of stock base almost. Now I'm using some leftover radish. Because this takes the longest time to cook, I'm going to leave it to simmer for a while with the lid on to soften the radish. Now one of the most important ingredients here is the kimchi of course. This is going to give most of the flavour to the stock. I'm adding just a little bit of salt and two tablespoons of soy sauce. You don't want to add too much soy sauce because kimchi itself is already quite salty. So I like many Korean stews, we're adding two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar this helps to neutralize any scents, but also adds to the flavor of the broth itself too. And I'm gonna give two generous heaps of gochujang, which is Korean chili paste. As I said before, you can find this quite easily in supermarkets across the UK and the US. Make sure you stir that all together to distribute the paste into the water. infuse that flavour and to soften the radish you're going to want to simmer this stew for at least 15 minutes to 20 minutes in total time but in the last five minutes you want to add your tofu and a generous handful of chopped green spring onions Try not to leave the tofu in the stew for too long because it's going to soften too much and break up. But just delicately dunk the tofu chunks into the stew so that they really absorb the liquid. Now this is what makes this meal a little bit different. Well, also the radish too, but we're adding glass noodles which are made from potato potato starch. In a sense, this dish is a fusion of kimchi jjigae and a very other popular dish, maratang, which is a Chinese dish. You know the stew is done when the tofu has softened and absorbed the flavour and the noodles are al dente. <laughs> 